three, much for times, and we're here with uh, Tribulation, who are playing the Ronnie James Dio stage a little bit later on this afternoon. And we have members of the press just walking through our shot as usual. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> it happens, it's festival season. It's all right, I'll let Roffley, she lives nearly back home, so all right. she's all good. Um, guys, uh, wonderful to have you here, uh, back in the UK. Yeah. Um, have you been doing much touring recently? Well, uh, last tour, proper tour, was in September, right? Yeah. So that's been well, a, almost a year, yeah. Yeah. So uh, well, we've done a bunch of festivals this, this summer. summer. Yeah. Do you, do you tend to find you do like a headline run and a festival run and a headline and a festival? Is that kind of usually? I mean, it, not all all headlines, but uh, yeah, tours and summer festivals are part of a year at least. Yeah. <laughs> It seems to be the thing nowadays, isn't it, to get that festival yeah. run in as well. Yeah. And you never know what's coming up. Someone might invite you yeah. Yeah. to join their tour. Or, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you pretty much you take what you can get, especially the, the live shows these days is, is pretty much where it's all out now, isn't it? Yeah, it feels yeah. like it. Yeah. Um, you, the last time was a couple of years back, you've got an EP out earlier this year. Yeah. Which, is that the first one since uh, Joseph joined the band, isn't it? Yes, yes. it is. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. Because I know Jonathan was quite the um, part of the creative yeah, force yeah. behind it. So often when a band looks for a new member, you know, a guitarist, a guitarist, and whatever, you're looking at somebody who can join the band and, and play the music. You're obviously looking for somebody creative as well. Was that a bit more of a challenge? Do you think? Nah, we we feel and know Joseph since you know childhood, oh, fantastic. way way early. So we know all about his creativity. Create. <laughs> Can't even say it. Can you? Creativity. Yeah. <laughs> you have to hear me out. I've been sleeping two hours. Yeah, uh, we had a. Yeah, it's been rough. That's, and rough. you're speaking a second language. Right. I'm not going to complain. No, that's no, no, no. <laughs> fine. No, but yeah, I mean Joseph. First of all, he was the first choice ever. Yeah. Not, not speaking of creativity or just a new member. It's just he's our best friend and oh, that's good. if something like this would have happened it would have been him you know? yeah. so it's great that he's a great songwriter as well yeah so uh, with the uh, new material obviously this is the, the first one with, with his input um, did the creative process change at all um, with, with him coming in have you kind of mixed things around has he got different maybe a bit yeah a little bit yeah. I think we work more closely on the songs than we usually do yeah uh, at least I, I would. I don't live in Stockholm, so I would. I would go there every other weekend yeah, to I work mean, on the songs. The weekends leading up to the EP, we met yeah. every weekend. Yeah, almost, yeah. So. yeah. So yeah, and uh, in the past, it's been a little bit more of a solitary thing for both me and for, for Jonathan. Um, so that I guess that actually changed a little bit for this one. Yeah. So how do you feel as the sounds change? A couple of people have noticed that um, your first two albums were. A bit more death. Then you went yeah. a little bit more mainstream metal, which is yeah, fine. Everyone likes to change. You can't do the same thing for the rest of your life. Exactly. Uh, how would you put uh, the, the EP in terms of compared to the uh, the previous releases? It's rather similar, I, I would say, yeah, to but to our previous three albums at least. They're not the same, but they've been sounding more uh, consistent at least. Um, so you're developing, you nailing your sound down, really. Yeah, kind of. Uh, so it's in line with. With those, it's a, but yeah. it's different. It's not. It's especially if you compare it to to the our latest album, uh, yeah. where the gloom becomes sound. There's, I don't know. It's difficult to say oh, from from our perspective, to be honest. But I I think it's a little bit more harsh, mm -hmm. a little bit more. It's a bit more punky. Angry. And a bit more. Yeah. A bit, bit, bit more edgy. Yeah. Yeah. Edgy. Yeah. For sure. Sure. Yeah. One question is why, why go for a, an, an EP rather than take a little bit longer and go for the full album? Was there, was there a reason for, for wanting to just get something out there? or? Yeah, I mean basically introducing Joseph and yeah. just keep fresh, I guess you have to in this business. It's yeah, absolutely. And wanting to, wanting to try it out with, yeah. with him before making a complete album. So yeah. it seemed like a good choice at the time at least. So you've got this, uh, this, this summer festival run coming up now. Uh, have you got any more touring plans after that, or are you going to start settling down and, and maybe working towards a full album release? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Exactly what you said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have actually, we have a couple of shows in Mexico. Yeah. Next oh, month, nice. and then yeah. one we have a Swedish, Swedish show. Yeah, in November. But that's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, it's focus on the album. 
you will. Fantastic. Yeah. We've had quite the Swedish invasion at the uh, at Bloodstock this year, which yeah. is, to be fair, not actually unusual. Um, must have a good seven or eight bands. Is there, I mean, Sweden, you mentioned Swedish metal to most people, and they, they think of the, the heavy death metal, the, the Gothenburg sound, that kind of stuff, but you've got quite the variety. Um, for a big country, I mean, you're based southwest, I think? Uh, we are originally. born, uh, yeah. yeah. In a small That's town called like Arica, based, I guess. Okay. and you moved back there, yeah. yeah. So you live there now, and the rest of us are still in Stockholm. Yeah. Okay, so Arica, that's the one. It's on the only inland fjord in the entire country, and with the most inland harbour in the entire Sweden as well. That's yeah, what it, I usually hear. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, Wikipedia is wonderful. It's, yeah. not, it's not a fjord, I think. No, not fjord. No, it doesn't count, fjord. Doesn't count as a fjord. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Uh, but but uh, it's very yes. beautiful. It's, uh, it's very beautiful, though, and it is the most inner harbour I've heard. Yeah. Many times. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. I hope yeah. it's true. I hope, I've been to Sweden. It's a, it's a fantastic country, but it's similar to the UK, it's long and it's stretched out. Yeah. And I was always right. curious. Um, I mean, how do things change within the country? Do you find that the scene is a bit different in one place to the others? You, you, I assume you've, you've travelled it uh, while, while playing concerts? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it yeah, is. sometimes yeah. you feel like Gothenburg I mean, is more. 70s uh, rock and roll. They're all, all right. hippies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hips and punks. Um, yeah, they, their black metal scene is a bit different than Stockholm, for example, I would say. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there are differences, yeah, for sure. There's small differences, for sure. And Malmö. I think the differences go along with the characters of the city, not yeah. how people describe mm -hmm. the cities differently. And that kind of. It's the same with the metal yeah, scene. Yeah, you should I, I make a detailed map sometime yeah. over <laughs> how death metal sounds all over the country. <laughs> yeah. it, I mean, it's a country that's known for it, but it's interesting though, it's not just a Swedish sound, there are no. different areas. I mean, I, I would say there's a uh, down south at, in Malmö sound as well for, for death metal, for example. Mm. Like, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, you've got your own unique sound, which is obviously becoming more of your unique sound, as, as I said, and, and hopefully within maybe another 12 months, we should have another seven or eight songs nailed in and see what direction you're going in then. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's hopefully fantastic. hopefully a bit different then. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> as you said, you, you have to keep evolving, otherwise it gets kind of boring. Yeah, you know? it, does. it does. It does. And that's certainly not something we can ever accuse you guys of being, so. No, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very much looking forward to your set later on today. Thankfully, I think the weather's meant to be clearing a little bit until tonight. We yep. hope so. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, really, guys, thank you so much. And thank you. Uh, we'll see you maybe in a couple of years' time as well. All right. Sure. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Uh, yes. <laughs> Cheers and thank you. Cheers.